Okay, I think we're about ready to, to get rolling. Uh, as I said, uh, my name is Derek Thompson. I'm the marketing specialist here at Rudder. Um, today, we're going to uh, give you a little bit of a uh, overview of using radar to enhance uh, maritime safety and security. Um, Sebastian Koffler, who's our product specialist, uh, will be taking you through this presentation. We hope that it, um, we can get about, it's about 30 minutes, uh, 20 minutes for the presentation itself, and about 10 minutes for questions at the end. Um, please use the Q&A button below if you have any questions. Uh, we will try to address them at the end of the presentation. If, however, we don't get to them all, uh, we will follow up. Uh, this uh, presentation is being recorded, and if anybody would like to, uh, to have a copy of it afterwards, uh, we'll certainly make that available to everyone. Um, I don't think there's anything other than that for housekeeping. Um, as I said, uh, we are recording the session, so um, uh, we're ready to get started. Uh, Sebastian, good day. Good day, Eric. Thanks, uh, and uh, welcome everybody to join this uh, webinar about uh, radar innovation for uh, small target and surveillance. I'm happy to present this uh, session, which is uh, actually the second one after uh, radar innovation for ICE operation, presented last, last month by my uh, colleague uh, Ina uh, Adrest. Uh, for those who did not attend, the recording is still available on the uh, Rutter um, YouTube channel. I will start this uh, presentation with an uh, introduction to Rutter and uh, the Sigma 6 uh, offer overview. Uh, then I will introduce more in detail the solution for small target and surveillance. And uh, after that, I will, uh, I will present uh, some use cases uh, before uh, we, we will have the, the, the Q&A uh, Q session at the, at the end. So first of all, I will introduce uh, briefly Rutter and uh, Ocean Waves uh, for those uh, who don't know us uh, now. Uh, Rutter is a Canadian company with uh, headquarters in St. John's, Newfoundland. Uh, Rutter was incorporated in 90, uh, 1998 and is specialized in advanced radar processing for oil, ice, and small target detection. The subdivisory Ocean Waves uh, is uh, based in Lüneburg, uh, Germany. It's close to Hamburg. It uh, was incorporated in 2000 and acquired by Rutter in 2012. Ocean Wave is a daughter company of Rutter, owned 100% by Rutter. And Ocean Wave is specialized in advanced radar processing for real time wave and surface current monitoring. Water and ocean wave uh, are uh, working for research, development, deployment, and support of a proprietary hardware and firmware that improve visibility and functionality of conventional and digital marine radar system. Our customers are in the maritime industry, and we are servicing oil and gas, marine shipping, seismic operations, security, defense, offshore construction, VTS, uh, cruise and uh, yacht industry, uh, renewable energy project, research uh, organization, and uh, also anti-piracy uh, operation. So in one word, we can say that uh, we are in contact with all the maritime industry ecosystem. What we do, um, the enhanced radar technology uh, that I mentioned, uh, uh, we develop and supply is called S Sigma S6. We are using the raw radar signal of the navigational X-band radar. We are doing high definition processing and we are offering high imagery capability. We are connecting our system to X-band radar. This is due to the wavelength, wavelength characteristics of this type of radar. We are monitoring the environment by having a various radar applications that I will mention uh, later in the, in the presentation. Researching and improving Sigma 6 is important and the priority for uh, Rutter. We are being part of different na national and international research projects. 
we are supporting and working closely together with the customer in order to find the best solution adapt to uh, the need. Both Rudder and Ocean Wave have more than 20 years experience in the maritime industry and innovation. Now we'll tell a few words about the uh, components of the Sigma S6 technology. The Sigma S6 hardware is made of a marine certified processor unit with an integrated interface card, with a trackball and keyboard and monitor. All are marine certified. We connect the system to uh, existing navigational radar in slave mode or dedicated rudder radar in master mode. The rudder radar must be dedicated to the Sigma E6 and cannot be used for navigation, just, uh, just to, to mention. We can also uh, we can connect uh, three, uh, most of the um, standard analog radar. Sometimes uh, interface is required to get the signal in the uh, request format. And we can also uh, connect some digital radar, more and more digital radar that becomes more and more uh, standard now. Uh, we can work with both horizontally or vertically polarized antenna, saying that uh, for ice and target detection, the vertically polarized antenna is um, not so much of interest. It's, it has an interest for OSP detection and all the wave product. And we also can uh, sometimes connect, uh, so we can connect X-band radar, as I mentioned before, and we can also switch uh, to S-band radar, and especially for uh, ice and uh, target detection. It's not so much the case also for uh, OSP detection and uh, all the wave uh, product that, that work a bit, um, a bit different. On the right side, you can see the, uh, the list of the seven products that are now included in the Sigma S6 suite. Uh, I will detail uh, a bit later those, uh, those, those different uh, products. About uh, the advanced uh, radar imaging, on the left side, you can see a standard navigation radar image as you are used to, to, to see it. And uh, on the right side, you can see a Sigma S6 enhanced imaging. And you can easily see that we can uh, see a much better definition with the Sigma S6 enhanced imaging because of the color that is not only uh, one color uh, that is a standard and legal for the nav standard navigation radar, uh, but also by the different uh, uh, processing that, uh, that we apply, image processing, that gives better visibility and more detail on the Sigma S6 image. Another example of the advanced uh, radar imaging is uh, what we get with uh, the uh, scan averaging and spatial processing. On the left side, this is the uh, standard uh, Sigma 6 radar capture and processed. And on the right side, you have a Sigma 6 enhanced imaging processed with uh, different uh, processing, including the scan and averaging. So we can see that again, the uh, details are um, more, much more visible on the uh, enhanced imaging. And uh, you can see uh, here the detail. What you can uh, you can see you can see wave action. You can see nav navigational markers, and uh, I, we also highlight the position of the radar just for uh, just for information. Now I will go uh, quickly through the different product. Uh, just say a few words about the different product of the of the Sigma S6 suite uh, that uh, Rutter proposed. The first product is the ICE Navigator. The ICE Navigator differentiates between all kind of ICE events, open water, also ICE pan, uh, open water leads in ICE field, ICE ridge, iceberg, all kind of information, including also uh, iceberg impact ICE uh, and, uh, and ICE ridge and uh, all those, uh, all, all, all the ICE events can be uh, detected and tracked by the ICE Navigator. The second product is OSP detection, which is a real-time automatic detection, tracking, and outlining 
of uh, surface oil, oil slick. The third product is the, the product that is uh, the, the main topic of this presentation. So I will go later in the detail is automatic detection of tracking multiple small, slow and fast moving target. The next product is uh, VEMOS tool that stands for Wave and Monitoring Surface System. And, um, this is a real-time determination of significant wave parameter. We measure significant wave height, wave length, wave period, wave direction, and also surface current. The next one is current monitor, which is also real-time determination, but is of high resolution surface current, and we are able to measure the bathymetry in shallow water. The uh, two latest products that came in the, in the suite in our uh, wave vision that was released uh, one year ago, which is a, a real-time deterministic wave detection. With wave vision, we can detect and give advance warning of large and anomalous wave in the vessel's uh, vicinity. We can also identify quiet period to conduct operation uh, safety. And the last product that we released this year is Wave Signal, and it's a wave prediction tool, so we can predict wave up to three minutes before uh, impact. That's a product that helped to secure uh, our operation uh, at sea when uh, the, 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 the wave can be, uh, can be a problem. So now I will uh, go uh, more in detail in the Sigma S6 uh, surveillance product. So this product, uh, Sigma S6 STS, enhances the capability of your standard navigational radar or VTS radar for small target detection and surveillance. I will go. I will do an overview of the the feature of, uh, and value of the STS product. First, it's uh, best in class small target detection and tracking. It's uh, bolt on upgrade to existing marine radar. As I said previously, we can connect existing radar X or S band. It's ideal and designed for offshore platform, support vessel, coastal patrol vessel, yacht, harbor, so any kind of uh, installation uh, that has uh, radar uh, compliant can match, can have an interest for uh, for one of the application of. Uh, Small target detection. Uh, small target detection has advanced clutter reduction algorithm for enhanced detection of very small targets, some target that the standard radar will not detect. We have uh, 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 um, some, uh, some algorithm to significantly improve detection and tracking of both slow and fast moving target. It's assure 24 uh, seven real time visibility, even in uh, harsh condition or during low visibility. Now, an overview on the different uh, value. So this is enhanced imaging, targeting and analysis to enable small target surveillance. STS automatically detect and track small targets on the surface on the water. It can be interfaced with camera, infrared camera, to uh, target verification. So it's not to it's not to detect the target via camera, but when the target is detected by the radar, we have the interface uh, integrated uh, in our GUI to. Uh, uh, to, to, to confirm uh, the type of target uh, that has been detected. We have the uh, AIS overlay for class R and class B target. And as you can see on the picture on the left, we also support charts underlay uh, on the CMAP uh, with CMAP uh, charts. We have the possibility to have color or black and white display um, according to the situation uh, and to the kind of target uh, that can be detected. Sometimes uh, the, the color display has more interest 
and uh, the, the target can be detected more, uh, more easily. We support uh, closest point to approach and time to closest point to approach. This is mainly used uh, to avoid collision. And we have also the, um, uh, the, the possibility to set guard zone around the radar uh, for automatic detection and alarming of targets that are uh, entering into uh, the protected area. And all the data are, uh, um, are, can be configured to be delivered in the standard for use in external uh, common operating picture and a geographic uh, information system. Now I will just show you a short uh, video how the system looks like. So it was during a trial and you can see on this video that we detect and track a small boat, FRC. The uh, yellow line is the, the, the dotted line is the, the track uh, of the of the um, of the of the vessel, and the green line is the the, the heading, and also represents uh, I'd give an idea of the speed of the of the of the, the, the of this vessel. So that was just a short video to give you an idea. Uh, just for your information, this video is uh, accelerated for just for the purpose of this. Uh, of this uh, of this presentation. Now I want to show you a comparison between uh, what we can expect with uh, conventional radar unprocessed and uh, the Sigma S6 uh, processed data. So this is data that are given uh, for a specific configuration with a C state five, which is which is quite high. And we uh, try to detect two kinds of targets. The green uh, is uh, uh, 0 0.25 meters square, which is more or less uh, equivalent to a person in water, and 0 0.5 meters square, square in red, which is a small boat. And you can see on the left side that uh, the probability of detection with a conventional radar and proceed is very, very low. We can even not uh, not detect the the the, the two the two events, and you can see on the right side uh, the, the 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 graph on the right that um, the processed data with the processed data from uh, from sigma S six, the probability of detection. So we consider a probability of detection at ninety percent. The probability of detection is for the small target more than one kilometer. And for the bigger target is uh, about 2.5 kilometers. So that gives you an idea about um, the, the how powerful can be STS and, and how it improves the detection of a small target in uh, difficult uh, conditions. Now I just want to uh, mention two uh, two. Two features uh, for uh, SX Connect that will be useful to uh, the, for the for the use case later. We have the possibility to to interface in real time to third party equipment via SX Connect, which is a web enabled interface. It can be configured to to different type of data like uh, radar imagery, imagery in uh, GeoTIFF, PNG, or JPEG. And also we have uh, track target information in vector data file format like GML, KML, DXF, S3. So for example, that can be, uh, that can be uh, compatible and integrated to uh, ArcGIS or, or, uh, or Google Earth Pro like uh, as it, uh, it is on the, on the picture on the, on the top of the, of the slide. STS can also be uh, configured to, to deliver a TTM message uh, on the serial port with uh, re relevant information about the target uh, tracking. Now I will uh, go to the, to the use case. Uh, the first use case is uh, regarding search and rescue. We work with several worldwide organizations. Um, they are using small target surveillance to assist for search and rescue. Depending of the country and the mission of the search and rescue, um, this mission is uh, uh, insured by different uh, authority and organizations. So that can be Coast Guard, Navy, Marine Rescue Services, 
or different uh, SAR uh, SAR organization that has uh, that has a specific uh, specific name and uh, to to ensure this um, this mission. So we have uh, we have different customer that. Uh, uh, that in different country uh, that cannot uh, be named for uh, for confidentiality uh, reason. For search and rescue, we made a trial uh, in Newfoundland at uh, Cap Spear. Uh, we detect a person in water at the, the after various ranges. Uh, it was at the sea stage three during this uh, this trial. And we measure the, prob the probability of detection for this person in water at 1.25 nautical miles with different uh, antenna uh, RPM and also different level of uh, scan averaging, the scan averaging that I described um, before. And you can see in the table uh, on, the, on the right that uh, the results show improved uh, probability of detection when the scan average increase and also when the antenna rotation speed increase. To, so uh, with the standard, uh, with the standard uh, configuration, we have a probability of detection of 40% minimum, and we can reach a probability of detection of 100% uh, by increasing the scan average and the speed of the, of the antenna. Regarding this trial, we also, have, uh, we also have a short video. So you can see here the safety boat with, uh, with a, this uh, gentleman, uh, poor gentleman who has to jump in the, in the cold water of Newfoundland. And uh, so you can distinguish uh, on the on the picture. You can you can imagine the 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 the, the person in water and the safety boat that is living. This is what we can see here. You have two points. You have the safety boat and the person in water. We also can detect the fishing boat that was uh, that was around around there. So the system automatically detects and uh, start tracking the, the people in water, the boat, and also the, the, the fishing boat that was not uh, forecasted for the trial, but he, he, it was here. And also you can see on the right side all the, uh, the, the, the information for each target display, uh, about the speed direction and, uh, and so on. The next uh, use case I will uh, I will present now is about uh, security. It's with uh, a, a, a case with our customer uh, in uh, Indonesia, the Indonesian Marine Police. Um, first, I want to thank um, Indonesian Marine Police uh, and our partner in Indonesia, uh, PT Multi Integra, uh, to share uh, the experience uh, with uh, with with us, but. Uh, about the, the, the STS. So the STS was installed, uh, has been installed on board the uh, Indian Indonesian Marine Police Patrol Vessel since uh, 2017. And uh, we had uh, several, uh, several other, uh, other projects in, in this way. Um, this is made to assist Marine Police for the, uh, the daily mission, which is uh, surveillance and law enforcement in uh, Indonesian Sea to track small and fast boat, to do some anti-piracy. And also they are using the camera integration to control and to check what kind of targets are, um, are detected. Uh, this is very important is uh, Indonesia because Indonesia, as you may know, is uh, made of a lot of uh, small islands and that's a very, critical for the, the authority to, 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 to go in this way and to detect, uh, to detect the, to detect the small boats. The next case is close to the first one because it's also in Indonesia. Uh, also, uh, I would like also to thank the Indonesian custom to, to share the information and PT Binti Integra to, to our partner, uh, local partner, to to coordinate um, all the all the project with uh, with with custom. 
Uh, so in with Indonesian custom, uh, we installed the system. We first installed the system in 2018, and uh, also we have some project uh, ongoing. Um, it's also made to assist the custom in the daily mission, also for surveillance and law enforcement in Indonesian sea, also to track small, small and uh, to track small and fast boats. Sorry. And uh, what is interesting uh, here in this case, and you can see on the picture on the bottom, all the information are shared in the control and command center. And you have a picture of this, uh, this command center and the, the, the data are sent via the two, uh, the two uh, possibility that I uh, introduced you previously, SX Connect and uh, TTM. Next uh, use case uh, is a older uh, use case. It's also in security. Um, it's a, it's a, a system that uh, is installed on Turk and Caicos Island in the Caribbean. The small target surveillance has been installed for coastal surveillance for small craft detection. Turk and Caicos are in the area where a lot of small boats uh, uh, sales uh, between Cuba, um, Haiti, and the Bahamas, and they are they are in this way. And the customer uh, uh, target is to track the small boats that are uh, navigating close to the T and C shore for uh, security and uh, for security reason. Next uh, use case is uh, about. Um, is about uh, security also. We equipped uh, yacht and cruise ship with our STS system, uh, cruise ship and also uh, expedition uh, ship. The main uh, purpose of those installation is anti-piracy by using guard zone and to, to have a safe uh, area where uh, the, 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 the operator and the captain knows when a target uh, and especially a fast moving boat is entering into the into the the the, 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 the not the forbidden but the, the controlled area. It's also uh, used for collision abundance with uh, other vessel and uh, and coll uh, collision abundance with uh, floating objects like debris or uh, containers that can uh, get that can remain at sea and that can uh, dramatically damage the. Uh, the, the, the vessel. And uh, the last use case I want to introduce you is a use case we have with uh, uh, EGS. Uh, we install on the EGS surveyor. And the purpose is detection of small objects, especially debris and fishing gears. And we have the uh, testimonial of uh, the user who, uh, as, uh, as it is written, that the early use of the Sigma 6 software on the vessel uh, is proving quite successful and the bridge team are finding it very useful in detecting fads and other small objects which could cause damage to all towed equipment that are located out in the open seaway. So that uh, was the uh, conclusion of the, um, of the use case. Um, before uh, finishing, I just want, in, in conclusion, to uh, um, to tell uh, and that uh, all the Sigma S6 uh, products that are in uh, that are available can be integrated into the same system. So you can have a small target detection with uh, oil spill detection uh, that can be because sometimes also, especially for security. Uh, the mission uh, are common with uh, oil, uh, oil spill cleaning and detection and, uh, and search and rescue and so on. So that can be of interest to have uh, both. Um, to have also uh, information about the waves, about the current, and uh, and about uh, and to secure some uh, some some operation at the same time. So all the, the product, all the seven product, can be included in the same hardware to make an integrated uh, system. So to conclude, uh, we are servicing over 40 uh, countries in, uh, on very different uh, vessels and uh, application and, uh, and the coastal area. 
Um, we have a lot of product uh, integrated with other product or standalone. As I say, on vessel, on platform, on coastal site, they really depend on the on the on the use case and the, the need of the of the customer. We have uh, a lot of uh, reference with many players in the in the marine industry, and all those players they have uh, different target, different objective, and we support them, and we um, and we are working together with the customer to find the best uh, solution uh, adapted to to the needs. The small target detection can be used for multiple purposes, so this is important for um, the user to, to, to have the product for what he, uh, he needs to be, to be used. So thank you for your attention. Uh, I hope this uh, presentation uh, was uh, helpful. I uh, end back the microphone to Derek for the Q&A. Thank you, Sebastian. Good job this morning. Um, we uh, are going a little bit over time. Um, so I think what we'll do, uh, we, we had a number of questions, some of them which we attempted to, to answer uh, through this forum. Uh, if you still have questions, I'll leave this open for a little bit. Uh, please forward them along or send them to us at uh, 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 to Sebastian um, at the email shown. And we'll definitely get you answers in the next little while. Uh, before the end of the week, we expect to have uh, this video edited and a link uh, sent out to everybody. Uh, we did get a number of questions about people who wanted to uh, share this presentation with other people. Um, that'd be great. We'd love for you to do that. And we'll make that available as soon as possible. But in the interest of time, uh, we said 30 minutes. We're just about over that now. Um, I think we'll we'll conclude uh, unless uh, Sebastian, you have any last comments, and I'll give the I'll give the floor back to you. No, that's fine. I'm sorry that I was a bit uh, a bit too long. No, I think I think everybody, uh, according to the questions that we had, uh, you generated quite a lot of interest. And uh, we will make the, the questions, all the questions available to, um, to the individuals who attended, uh, the participants who attended the, uh, the webinar today. So uh, if you have anything in the meantime, please, as I said, uh, forward them along to us. Thanks again for, uh, for taking time out today and attending our webinar. We hope uh, to have the next one in the series within uh, a month or so. Uh, obviously, keep watching your, um, your LinkedIn and your email for that. And uh, we look forward to sharing with you again in the days ahead. Thanks very much. And uh, we'll see you all soon.